Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and uh, there's, uh, of course, like I was uh, talking about the future of Windows, some uh, changes coming up. So what is expected now, because some of you have asked some question about this, is that um, the um, advanced way of getting Windows 10, meaning that every version is now pushed a little closer. What does that mean? So for those asking, once again, November 12th is the official release of the November 2019 update. And it would seem that for consumers, we might have the next version of Windows before January. That means that things are pushed to a faster release. Uh, although next year, one of the things going to happen is Windows 10 X. And of course, the 19H2, the next version after 20H1, will be released in um, the month of June, apparently. So that would mean that we would have still two versions of Windows before the end of the year. This one is a big one. It's not like 19H2 November 2019 update is a cumulative update. This one is going to be a big update. That would be kind of interesting because we would see three updates this year if that happens. So that also means that we will be getting, um, insiders will be getting that before. Uh, and it's interesting that they would keep, you know, 20H1 as the name, but it would still be the first version of Windows 10 available in 2020. Once again, I have the impression that this goes with the fact that Windows 7 is going to be officially uh, retired for consumers on January 14th, 2020. So apart from that, of course, we know that 19, uh, 20H2 is a thing. We know that we will have a second version of Windows, but we'll have also Windows 10X. And I wanted to also talk about, because some of you have been asking questions, what about if Windows 10X becomes a version of Windows available for laptops and computers? Wouldn't that be a danger to Windows 10 in general? Well, that's, uh, that's a good question because it's something I did think of. If you have Windows 10 X, if it can run regular, because what we know is apparently it runs regular uh, Win32 apps, meaning your favorite program should technically run in it. It also is a simpler Windows. It has seamless background updates that would probably tempt some people to actually move there rather than have that big, chunky, complicated two, three times a year update Windows 10 operating system. So that's also something that's very interesting. And like I was saying, um, in the future, uh, in 2020, I think it's going to be an interesting time in Windows 10. A lot of you have been asking me because you've uh, seen my video a couple of weeks back talking about how Windows isn't very important anymore to Microsoft, but it still is. And some of you have been, you know, asking me, well, do you see that Microsoft could, you know, stop making Windows? Not in a near future, that's for sure. Windows is still uh, important, and I mean, especially in enterprise, it's still a big big deal and, and you know the uh, revenues of Microsoft this week were actually showing that the revenue of Windows 10 is up and it might have to do partly with the fact that Windows 7 is getting to its end of life in a couple of months so um, you know there's no foreseeable future of no Windows but there might be a foreseeable future of a different type of Windows something that's simpler that updates better. That is just generally a, you know, better operating system overall. Uh, kind of getting closer to what we see in smartphones. You know, Android updates, uh, iOS updates, are more seamless. I mean, you know, I wake up in the morning and I see my phone, and it says, "Oh, um, you know, you got to enter your PIN because there was an update last night." Yeah, but you, you don't. It's it's like you don't realize that these things are happening except for little details that you see that it tells you oh yeah, yeah the you know this this new version is now available 
And it, that is interesting, honestly, because it tells me that um, the um, maybe Windows, maybe Microsoft is thinking of a different type of future for Windows. Still Windows, still running Win32 apps, but much less of an annoyance for everybody. Um, we'll keep you up to date to everything. So if rumors are true, we would be getting, well, this one is pretty sure. We'll get the November, November 2019 update on November 12th. Uh, if you're on the, or if you want it right now, of course, you can go to the uh, release preview ring and update if you're, uh, if you really want it. And then of course, opt out with that little switch that says, well, you know, I don't want to have, uh, I want to stay here now. And uh, for those that uh, that 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 are wondering, well, we would have uh, you know something like the December 20, 20, 2019 update or something, uh, sometime around Christmas. So, but uh, there's no official dates and there's no official of anything right now in this. It's it's really rumors telling us that basically everything is moving forward at a faster pace right now so we'll keep you up to date of course on the channel here as to what happens if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thanks for watching